We are Homo sapiens, humans, a species completely unlike any other today. We stand upright, something which no other primate can do. Our teeth are small, and we are fundamentally defenseless against attack. Our hands and fingers are well-built machines, and our primary weapons. What separates humanity from every other animal? To find the answer to that, we must go back in the past, and retrace our evolutionary steps. Retrace our extended family tree. We are four and a half billion years in the past, and the early Earth is forming. At this point, the entire planet is just molten rock. After several years, it will eventually harden to be the crust. Shortly after our planet formed, an object similar in size to Mars hit the Earth. Matter from both this object and Earth escapes and starts orbiting. After years of accretion, the matter forms the moon. Our planet completely lacks an atmosphere, which allows comets and asteroids to bombard the planet nearly effortlessly. Comets, made out of ice, are melted and evaporated. After several thousands and perhaps millions of years, our atmosphere is formed from these impacts. Build up of all the water from the comets causes the atmosphere to outgas, making it rain for several years. This is how the oceans formed, and in the oceans the first life began. Since there were no plants on Earth 3, and a half billion years ago to give our atmosphere oxygen, our atmosphere created organic compounds, chemical compounds containing carbon. These compounds would have accumulated, until they eventually formed the first life on Earth. The first life was very simple. It was single-celled and incapable of sexual reproduction. Instead, the first life made copies of itself from only one individual, not two. Through an evolutionary mix-up, the first sexual reproduction appears in single-celled organisms. 2.1 billion years in the past, and we gaze at an evolutionary marvel. At this time, the first eukaryotic cell develops. What is different from this cell and its predecessors is that it is more complex. It contains a nucleus which carries genetic information. Every animal, plant, and fungus living today has a eukaryotic cell. We are 600 million years in the past, and the first animals are evolving. One of them, called Vernana molecula, will give rise to all animals in the future. It is a very simple animal, as it has no brain, or a heart, only a mouth, gut and anus. 535 million years ago, the first vertebrates evolved. Vertebrates have notochords, which are protected with a rigid spine. The ancestor of all vertebrates today is Zonchenichthys. It is perhaps a primitive fish. However, scientists are certain it was the first organism with a notochord. We are 400 million years in the past, and we see what looks like a fish. It is a species of lobe fin fish called Connectase. Lobe fin fish eventually evolved to live on land, and became the first amphibians. By 375 million years ago, there is a new animal that looks less like a fish, and more like a tetrapod.
which are a group comprised of amphibians, reptiles, mammals and birds. It is a species called Tiktaalik. Its fins are capable of lifting it up on dry land, and its tail fin is looking more like a tail. We are 360 million years in the past, and the first real tetrapod has evolved. It is called Paterpies. What mainly distinguishes Paterpies from earlier forms is its feet. It has at least five toes, whereas its predecessors had no feet, just fins. The tetrapods quickly diversified into many forms. All of these were amphibians. One group of amphibians, called the reptiliomorphs, evolved within 20 million years. Reptilomorphs, as the name suggests, are similar to reptiles, and reptiles eventually evolved from them. Step back 335 million years. One of these reptiliomorphs was Cassinaria. It is so similar to today's reptiles, scientists are not even sure if it was an amphibian or a reptile. We are 306 million years in the past, and here is a true member of the reptiles. Called Archaea Atherus, it is also a member of a new group of animals, called the synapsids. Synapsids are also called mammal-like reptiles. Eventually, these mammal-like reptiles will evolve into true mammals. After Archaea Atherus, we go forward more than 40 million years. At this time, we stumble upon a peculiar little fellow called Procynosuchus. It is one of the first species of synodonts, the group of synapsids, that evolves into mammals. 252 million years ago, a large mass extinction occurred, killing about 83% of all life on Earth. Some of the animals that do survive are the synodonts. About 20 million years after this large extinction, a new species, called Probanonathus, appears. Like Procynosuchus, it is a synodont. But it is much more closely related to mammals. Next time on Religion Science Fringe, we cover the evolution of mammals and ultimately us.